because if people go to your YouTube channel, they will see a series of videos that you do. They're very short videos, but yeah, you are. you explain autism in such a brilliant way. Frankly, Tom, I I find them very refreshing. They're they're fun. They're exciting. I uh, I haven't yet shown them to my son, but I'm going to because. I, you know what it reminds my son is very much into video games and things like PewDiePie and things like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're, you're right in that same category. You're, you're speaking his language, but you're talking about autism and explaining it. I think it's brilliant. Oh, wow. I didn't think of it that way. I am. Um, well, I always, I've, I've done a lot of talks before, like before, like before any, like years ago when I was like a student. Because I so like I used to do some, like talks to staff and people who worked with autism because they wanted to hear from the horse's mouth so to speak from people with on the spectrum because they were sick of hearing with self-proclaimed experts who just read about it and like they really they, and it's refreshing for me on it because I learn more talking about it than I do listening about it and I found it amazing because like. I get so much more back from the, the audience and I was like they were laughing they were they were asking questions and it was really good for me so then when I look at doing it on the internet I think the only way to get it good is to be almost like them so I immediately looked at it like I'm not a person talking about autism I'm a youtuber uh -huh. so I, I look at it like I'm a youtuber but the subject's autism and that's that exactly how it plays. It makes total sense. And that's exactly sense. the idea I'm trying to go for because I don't want to look like I don't want to be like oh yeah I like because all the people that talk about it who know about it are incredible. They're just normal bog standard live talks or they talk to camera. But I thought no, I've got to be a proper YouTube vlogger and really and just be straight to the point without waffling. It's wonderful. So let's talk a little bit about you, Tom, because you mentioned they wanted to hear it from the horse's mouth. So you identify as somebody who's on the spectrum with an Asperger's diagnosis? Yeah, that's correct, yeah. And how old were you when you got that diagnosis? I was 16. Wow. So a, a little bit later. And before that, were there other people in your life that knew that you had Asperger's? Or was this the first time that your family was learning it, too? Uh, my mum always had a gut feeling that there was something, she used to say something not the same. Like she she had a gut feeling all her life that something wasn't quite right and she's pushed it and pushed it and I had all sorts of therapy, all sorts of stuff, nothing was found out and she put in place a lot of techniques to help me which actually are really good autism techniques anyway. So my mum was kind of, in a sense, she knew what she was doing but she didn't know what it was, does that make sense? It does. So she, she had, she constantly had that, because I always say on my page, and whenever parents ask and they go, I'm not sure, I said, always go with your gut, because that's what my mum did. Yeah. It took her 16 years, but it was my final year of high school when I got the diagnosis. So now you're 26 years old, and forgive me, but it seems like you are an expert in autism from the inside out. I've watched some of the videos. You're brilliant at explaining some of these things that I'm a mom, and you know I, I, I keep studying, and I'm nowhere near being an expert. How did you find out all of these things? Well, I find that people with all, on the, one of my things, my biggest flaw, I suppose, a flaw, my biggest autistic trait is the, the flexibility for or the imagination area. So it's like, I can't, so I tend to, uh, I'm kind of all over the shop and not very organized. But also in that area, I very, I struggle to like sometimes piece things together. Mm -hmm. So looking at that, the concept that I see a lot of things separate, I tend to look at things in life in general and they kind of go through individually. So like, does that make, so like everything will go through one, literally one step at a time. And as things go in that way, I'm able to see how these things are affecting my, me with autism. And I just talk about it on videos and apparently loads of people agree with it and think they have it in common because they're on the spectrum themselves. Yeah. So that's kind of how my brain's going. And it's like, so it will happen in real life. And I'll go, what? And I'm like, oh, wow, that's, 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 I should tell people about that. I wonder if it, and then it's. I kind of do a video about it. Like today's video yes. was about was about voting. We've just done the general election today. We voted in the UK. And I had it in my brain that I had to tick this person in this box. And then I opened the box and that person wasn't there. And I literally almost had a mini meltdown. 
<laughs> so I, I was like, so. and that was a video today. Yes. And it's, so, it's, but yeah, I just try and take things from my life because I, I like, I, d I don't know whether you, I don't know how it is in America, but in the UK, we find we're very distant in regards to this adults with autism. Yeah. It's almost very child focused. Yes, and I think I, that that's pretty much everywhere. We need to change that, though, and I think I mean, that you're a good I'm person. I'm talking about me. It's yeah. an adult with autism, and I live on my own independently, and I have autism. So it's, I kind of just focus on me and my perspective instead of trying to take something else from somewhere else. It's so, very yeah. refreshing, Tom, I have to say. Tell our audience how they can access these videos. Um, you can go on YouTube. You can search Autistic Genius on YouTube. Um, the probably the most popular, my most popular way of accessing a video is my Facebook page, which is Autistic Genius on Facebook. I am also on Twitter, uh, at Autistic Genius, and I've also just recently launched two days ago a new page with another two, with another autism vlogger and uh, a campaigner called Autism Central. It's literally just launched. I've got some of my videos on there as well. Okay, great.